Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Not just to our viewers and listeners, but to uh, to our next guest, who you can catch at the Addison Improv in Dallas, Texas, on September 25th, and uh, Zanies, Zanies, everybody, in Chicago, Illinois, on October 10th, and then a week later in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Aliente Casino in Orleans Showroom. Frank Caliendo, good to see you, sir. You know, it's great to be back with you, Rich. <laughs> I told you the whole show is going to be. I've been watching. Listen, yes. I keep going to that high voice. I'm working on my low voice for dramatic roles. Yes. I've been watching people on your television program. Thank you, in sir. Various forms, various platforms on the Internet. Yes. And uh, listening to you. And I've seen people with much better careers than me. That's right. And they come in with uh, a, a calm presence. Okay. Instead of this stupid high energy thing I've always done just to entertain you and sometimes annoy the audience. So I've decided mm. that today, yes, I'm going to do this as long as I can until <laughs> you stop me. Well, so from... so we won't have Lou Holtz doing Game of Thrones? I say what they did, what they did. <laughs> no. I will not pander. You will not pander. I will not pander to you or the audience looking for impersonations. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of various sports. Here's another thing, Richard, that I yes, didn't realize. Yes. My name's just Frank. Yours, okay. Uh, you can call me that. Okay. You don't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's making sense today, but it doesn't have to. No, because no. you've come in with a plan. Not on the Richard I, I, Iserman show. Yeah, right. Uh, this is the other thing. I did not realize in all this time, I've been on the show, watched the show, and it's years. Yeah. Over the years, um, you don't always just talk sports. No. And how I miss that <laughs> is idiotic. To, it like made me realize that my powers of perception are lacking. Like in like incredible. Like if there's spider sense, yes. I'm the op, I'm the fly sense. Like just going around and whack. So you couldn't you couldn't <laughs> glean that when when you were just riffing off on Adam Schefter saying polysyllabic. Uh, vegetable According words. to my sources, you're doing it again. What you're doing is playing a game where you're leading me into various impressions that you want to hear. I was trying to stay away, yes. do a high-concept comedy piece, <laughs> and what I am doing instead is once again pandering to your whims and making sure everything that you wanted to get out of the segment yes. becomes part of it. And makes us all happy, except for the one sad clown sitting in a chair who wore all dark clothing to appear thinner yeah. than he's ever appeared on camera before. You do look great. I put stuff in my hair. You did. I uh, I got I got the uh, product. Did. I got the, I did that myself too before I got on the plane. I put the stuff in the hair. You I don't know, know what, what it is. You know my what wife just like, handed it to you me. You know what this is like, Frank. Like other times you've come on, sometimes you you just do step off the plane like you 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 just did. Yeah. And you don't have makeup on and your hair's all messy. Yeah. That's like the coming out of Delaware, Joe Flacco. Now what I'm seeing, this is the elite quarterback Joe Flacco look. You oh. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you're, this is How's the that elite, working out for this, him? <laughs> <laughs> this is the elite Frank Has Caliendo. Has he completed any passes? It, I'm, it's a struggle I'm still I'm right still, now. I mean, you know, on occasion, you know, I like it's, to it's think hit of or myself miss. as a hit or miss. Uh, it's hit or miss. Six four, yes. quarterbacking. Yes, you've leader. got this. Is I I I like the shoes. Your shoe game. Uh, my is son. My son. Improved. These are Yeezys. I don't. I don't have a sponsorship <laughs> yet. Uh, but my I, son, impressive. My sons get like he's trying okay. to dress me better and help me. Yeah, I'm learning a lot from my kids uh, about how to not embarrass them as much. Yes. Did I tell you? I don't know if I told you this before. I let yeah. my son run my Instagram account. I've actually started doing my own Instagram account because okay. I let my son run it. And I, he said, and he's very good. He's, he's a responsible kid. Yes. But uh, he, he said, can I follow my friends on there? I'm like, absolutely. Not oh, realizing no. that he is a 15 year old boy <laughs> with female friends. Oh, geez. And then, yeah. And then there was stuff that I'm it's thinking. like American I'm, beauty. Yeah. I'm going to jail. <laughs> like there's there. I'm, I'm looking at things. I'm like, we got to not no more. Get rid of this stuff. Hold on. Deep voice back. <laughs> Uh, so so what if, what has leapt out at you that made you think, hey, this is more than just a sports show that I've been on? Uh, no, I just saw people times. telling stories. Okay. I saw Bill Hader a couple weeks talking about the Schwarzenegger thing. Right. Uh, that was that was awesome. And I just he's one of those guys that I look at and go, gosh, what a great career. Yeah, that was uh, that was Dan Patrick's show. But that's oh, okay. was it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
But it's okay. It's a six-hour block here. <laughs> oh, can I pretend like I did that on purpose? <laughs> just just full He's on the same network, we though, had right? Ben Folds on. Ben yesterday. Folds is what I was actually thinking. <laughs> Dan has a great show, too, though. I know he does. That's why, why are we're you on... against him? Why are you against him? <laughs> Excuse me. I can't believe. We're all together. We're all together. We're all together. This is a fun... I, you Seriously, know Dan was here in this here. studio, and he left us with a nice carpet. Here, it's true. That's a, I have Look one, at this carpet. It's new. It's plush. I have one, one of these plush. in the house I don't use. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I did make that mistake. That was it's genuine. I wasn't trying to, but now I'm going to milk it. <laughs> And talk about all of his guests that I've loved. <laughs> He's going to love this. Uh, you know, Fritzy sitting there going, this is awesome. This is unbelievable. Oh, he said, that's my Fritzy. Yeah, that's Fritzy, not bad. Uh, that's not By the bad. way, the, the yeah. worst emailer in the world. Oh. I know we shouldn't be doing it. Do, do you guys <laughs> just fine. Fine. No, 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 he no, sent no, me. No, 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 no. no. This He's is, terrible. This is, and by I, the way. I always want to talk about this on issue. But his, his emails make you feel. This is a person who... It, his jo- he's a great guy. I know. But he's a terrible emailer. He's, he's a like, worse texter. Looking forward to being on the show. He'll be like, whatever. Like, what? <laughs> no, no. And, and even when he does like, sounds great, you don't believe it no. in his reply. No. You're like, why are you mocking me as though you're talking about the wrong guests on the Rich Eisen show? Yes. <laughs> Ca- carpeting. Rug. So uh, Ben Folds is one that I did see yes. on here. And... Uh, Hey, it's really great to be on my final appearance <laughs> on the Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> you know, we enjoy Come having on. you on the VR Live it's Audience nice. Network Come and on. on radio stations Frank, across. Frank, the number of times where I have, Dan has been, somebody came up to him, they they think I'm him and he's me. Oh, really? It happens all I the time. I would never get that I know that. And I know. I don't want to tell I, you why. <laughs> But I would never. No. So Ben Folds was talking about uh, uh, William Shatner. Yes. And I have a I have a fun Shatner story. A oh friend, yes. A friend of mine, John Holmberg, and I have been doing a podcast. It's just breaking all sorts of records. Not with listeners or anything. Alpha, uh, Alan Frank just, try to be serious. No, no, no. This is this is with John Holmberg. This is more of a like a. Uh, oh okay. We're just trying to take over for you. Is what I'm trying to get. Sure. Okay. Trying to get uh, Bill Hader on. Um, <laughs> Elite guest. Well, turn the page. It's okay. No, Frank, no, it's I can't. Okay. I can't. And I'm stuck in it. No. So, uh, but we've been doing. We we started doing this. To, uh, you, you made me lose my place. William Shatner. Shatner. Look great. at that picture on the Way screen. Oh, look, look, at at him, look at him. Man. Look at him. Amazing. So, <laughs> he's a he's a giant. Um, he's big number one radio guy in uh, in Phoenix. Yes. And. So he got this opportunity to host a panel with William Shatner. He's like, you got to come and meet him in the green room. And we did. So I, I went out there and Shatner used to watch me doing like the picks on Fox and stuff like that. And I, I, OK, the funny thing is, I, I guess he used to watch them with uh, Tom Vitale and Valerie Bertinelli, who happened to live <laughs> next door. Do you know who that you know who they are? Valerie Bertinelli is like one day at a time, right? Yeah, I mean, she's, sure. like, she's got a cooking show. Fantastic. Sure, yeah, like yeah. super nice people. Is but my, my wife Van stalked her. <laughs> At a Changing Hands bookstore, and then we became friends. I wish that weren't true, but it's 100% real. So I, I tell Shatner, I was I was in your backyard looking at your house. He's like, what? <laughs> How could that be? I'm like, well, I'm friends with Val and Tom. He's like, okay, that suddenly makes sense. I'm like, Tom told me to ask you about a golf cart. And this is, this is a testament how great of an actor Shatner is. Yes. He told a whole story. With just one word. I go, what happened with this golf cart? He goes, unbelievable. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. You were on the golf cart. You turned it sideways. We're doing a wheelie. You ended up jumping a dog and then landed in a crick and somehow had somebody mis- <laughs> repronounce crick as creek. Yes. It was great. <laughs> one of the best days of my life. So I was like, wow, that's great. Uh, so that he was just the, it was the most, cause you don't, you don't expect him to be just so calm and subdued. Like I'm trying to be on this episode today. Um, but he was fantastic. I got, listen, I have themes. I've got recurrent. That's what people doing faux drama do. Yes. They have recurring themes in their segments. <laughs> Frank Caliendo here on the Rich Eisen show. Uh, did you hear the news that Shawshank Redemption was being re-released? I did not hear that, Sonny. <laughs> Why in the world would they be doing that? Because it's so good. What, are they re-releasing it on basic cable? Because it's never been played there before, Rich. <laughs> it's kind of like It's a Wonderful Life, where you watch one part for watch the middle, like a Tarantino film. <laughs> you watch the middle, see what happened at the end, and then go back to the beginning to put it all together. 
<laughs> is it the 25th anniversary? Is that what it is, Chris? Uh, yeah, the, uh, September 23rd. Next week is the September 25th anniversary of the release. Wow, one word. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> so, my, uh, this is another thing. Uh, do we have time? Because I Frank Caliendo, we have nothing but it, sir. So, uh, my daughter had broken her elbow a year ago on her birthday. Okay. Uh, Sorry to hear that. Yeah. And uh, she was actually excited. This is going to sound weird at first. She was excited when <laughs> Roethlisberger broke his elbow this weekend. <laughs> Well, I know it sounds b bad, but it's. I think it's the same thing. Okay. Because she hasn't been able to quarterback for a year either. <laughs> um, lead, she was leading the league. And then she was replaced by somebody named Mason in your family? Is well, it very that, odd, Frank? Yes. It's very yes. odd. Uh, and every time I hear Mason Rudolph, I think Maya Rudolph. I'm going all the older <laughs> wow. Saturday Night Live. Like, every time somebody says Mason Rudolph, I picture Maya Rudolph doing Oprah yeah. going, hey, you know, that kind you of thing. You in a chair. Right. You in. Oh, I don't know anybody By the way, would that, wouldn't that be odd if out at in San Francisco next week, out trots Maya Rudolph. I think that would be awesome. I, <laughs> the, the Lonely Island shows up too. I don't know. That'd um, be good. I think that would be uh, pretty cool. How would how would I'm going to go there? Oh my gosh. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. How would Madden call that? You know, yeah, you, this is this is a substitution we didn't see coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I've seen a, a lot. A lot of substitutions in my day. And this is one that you, you don't think you're going to get rid of Ben Roth. But you ever look at Ben Roethlisberger closely? He, I think he, he just might be uh, Wreck-It Ralph. You ever think? Every time I see Roethlisberger, I'm like, I'm going to wreck it. That's why I just get, That's it? got giant hands. Just go out and just break everything up, man. So, I'm doing a movie with Will Ferrell. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I see. Did we do enough of that? No. <laughs> I had to go there, Frank. No, I, I love had it. To, I, I love had to go in the I love, I love it when you get some entertaining moments out of me. So <laughs> my daughter had broken her elbow. Yes. And uh, while it, it, it wasn't healing properly, but in the, the next year it still wasn't broken. And we went to this place called Ace Comic Con. All right? And okay. it's Ace Con. I've gotten to be friends with them and pretty cool. We've gotten to meet some different Avengers. The first one I went to was in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And we met Tom Hiddleston, the guy who plays Loki. Sure. I'm Loki of Asgard and I'm burdened with glorious purpose. Him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> See, uh, some of the audience. You know what? Can we next time I'm here? Can we get a full audience? Can we sure. bus an audience in? You get it for JB it. Smooth. Are you yeah, I, I think you can come do it for to the me. Super Bowl. We always do yeah, shows yeah, in front I'll of a lot of audience. I'll definitely come. I'll come to the Super Bowl, you're especially you're if I can hang out with JB because he was in Spider Man with another guy with a better okay. career. He was in Spider Man <laughs> with uh, Tom Holland, which is my daughter's going to go meet him no at this next Comic Con. Yeah. And anytime I can like say I'm friends with somebody who knows them, she sure. thinks I'm the cool. So we go to. Do we have the time? I, go for it. I, Please. I, I worry about your commercials. I want you to. Frank you Caliendo, to you're just a giver. Yeah, I, I, that's what it, that's what it's about. So um, we go to meet Josh Brolin, and Josh Brolin. I have this video of Josh mm -hmm. Brolin. I gave it to Don Bowie, uh, super producer here yes. at the Rich Eisen uh, Network. Prop, nice. uh, ex extravaganza. Em yes. Empire was the word I was looking for. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, ooh. R E E, Rich Eisen Empire. I like it. Can it? Put it somewhere. Uh, ship it out. Write it down. Write yeah. it down. Chris, it. please. Trademark it before LeBron does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just got to get the. Uh, don't get the, the Ohio State yeah, people no, on. Yeah, it. No, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. They didn't. Yeah, they couldn't get that done. Yeah. So, so what, uh, what about so Josh Brolin? Josh Brolin. I have okay. video of him talking about using me. Yeah. As inspiration for the movie W. When he played George when he W. Played Bush. George W. Bush in the movie W. Mm -hmm. And he, he does call me in the video, he calls me Frank Caliento. Okay. Which Fine. is All a right. reason I'm changing my name. <laughs> right. Uh, so I go and we go into this line because I know the people at Ace and I don't, nobody tells him I'm coming. And I go to shake his hand. And he gives me this look like it was almost a groon face, like, what the heck's going on here, man? Like that kind of a thing. Yeah. And he, I go, hey, Frank Caliendo, and he, he just looks at like, like an, a vague, empty look on a, his face, like what's happening here? And then we go to, we end up meeting him later, and Chris Evans is there, who mm -hmm. who is a huge Patriots fan. Yeah, I know, we've had him on this show. Uh, oh, of yeah. course you did. You know who else isn't having him? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to say. <laughs> um, it's not nobody would give you a rug. Is right? that the picture of your daughter that's, with yes, Brolin the, and, and that's Jeremy her, Renner and there's Cheadle? Yeah, that's her Avengers themed birthday party. They, they Zoe Saldana. Yeah, right they there? did not wow. get dressed up for it. Oh. Um, but it's believable. So uh, <laughs> so I'm talking to Broly, as I call Josh Brolin when he's not around. 
And I'm like, uh, I'm just talking about, I got this video. He's like, you don't understand. You you were such an inspiration for that movie. Oliver and I, Oliver Stone, uh, <laughs> not the kid from the musical. So he's like, you you don't understand how important you were to that role. And Chris Evans goes, wait a second, what role are you talking about? And I, I do a decent Chris Evans, yeah, I, yeah. mostly the look. And... Um, <laughs> And he and Bro and Brolin before he can say anything, I go Thanos, and Evans goes, "Wait a second, who are you?" I go Frank Callan. He goes, "Oh my God!" He goes, "The mad." He starts like going sure. like it's awesome, like it's incredible. And my daughter's going, "Captain America knows my dad," and we're just having a conversation yeah. like we're two uh, uh, Avengers yeah. <laughs> about to save the. Like I'm gonna talk him out. Of, spoiler alert! I'm going to talk him into staying in the current timeline yeah. at the end. So, and I'm t- I'm just saying stupid, stupid stuff is coming out of my mouth. <laughs> just things like you don't know what it's. You're, it's so awesome! What an incredible career you could be on the Rich Eisen show, <laughs> and that's and I could try and emulate you. And right. so you. Oh, what an amazing career. You don't understand what it's like to be pigeonholed as one character, Captain America. And, <laughs> and I've seen some of the other stuff he does. I, I actually loved him in the Fantastic Four when Come he was on, the man. Human Torch. He's, a, he's incredible. Yeah. But it was so funny, the stuff I was trying to talk about. But he was he kept hitting me. He's like, that's funny. He's like, that's good stuff. He, he kept he's a me like, sports fan. Yeah, and I'm like, you got the super soldier serum. Relax. He's like, you have no idea. Man. He's like, <laughs> So he's just smacking me around. And we get done. And my daughter's like, that was unbelievable. Because the photographers had yeah. to go. And and they, they had to move everything on. But Chris Evans comes out and takes another break. And he's texting somebody else. He sees me. And he comes over to talk to me a little bit more. And after we talked a little bit. And I, I took the time. I was like, I'm busy. <laughs> Christopher. Uh, but Rich Eisen would want me yes, to talk to you right, right yeah, now. Right, exactly. So, uh, so we end up talking for a little bit, and my daughter ends up going, "That that was unbelievable." And she goes, "This is the best day of my life." And I'm like, "Well, mark it down because it's only going downhill from here because <laughs> there's no way I can top that." And I go, "Why was it so great?" She goes, "Because you know him." He liked you, and the second time, he didn't have to talk there to you. you. He wanted to. You and I was like, that, that's so true. Dad points, courtesy it was, of It of was Chris a really Evans. big deal for us. Did you do your Belichick impersonation? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was, you know what? He was calling things out. He was like- I uh, bet he was. Yeah, he was. No, he wasn't. Not, no. No. He, I was just making fun of you, and it didn't work. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, he- uh, I'm yeah. too genuine, did, Frank. Well, I'm I did, sorry. I did a little Robert Downey Jr. for him. Oh, I yeah? was doing little Robert Downey Jr., and I was doing it like this, and yeah? he's like, no, do it. I'm like, I am doing it. He's like, it's not that good. <laughs> I was like, that's awesome. They My daughter- can't be winners, right? Oh, yeah. Dallas, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. In November, the Potawatomi Hotel and Casino in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You're going right there in the middle of Iowa, Larchwood, Iowa, uh, on December 12th. FrankCaliendo.com. Tickets are available right there. Uh, at Frank Caliendo on Twitter and now Instagram, which he's running himself to make sure oh, that he's I an upstanding a, citizen. Do you have a sec? Are we going to commercial? Sounds like we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I put a, I put a, my six eleven, uh, my friend's six eleven kid on there yesterday. Yes. Who's like unbelievable? You got to take a look at that on the Instagram at Frank Caliendo on there. And next time I'm on, yes, yeah, sir, I'll be going a little crazy, and I'm going to break out the Jerry Alex Jones impression, which is <laughs> the chemtrails changing how the NFL is being developed. Fantastic. Frank Caliendo is here on the Rich Eisen Show anytime, sir. You know that. I'll be here for the next segment. Anytime. Uh, (laughs) Except for the next segment. Except for the next segment. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.